हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन आवर लेक्चर सीरीज व्हिच इज रिलेटेड विथ फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन आल्सो वी डिराइव्ड द मैथमेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन इन आवर टुडेज लेक्चर we are concentrating on the time domain representation of fm and frequency domain representation of fm so before moving to that part let us have a look over the concept of time domain representation and frequency domain representation so what exactly we mean by time domain representation and what exactly we mean by frequency domain representation so dear students when we say that a time domain representation always keep in mind on x axis there is always a term that is time and on y axis there is always a term that is amplitude so we are representing that signal on a time axis time versus amplitude so whenever we are representing a signal with time then such a kind of signal it is called as time domain representation so in time domain representation on x axis representation so on x axis there is time on y axis there is amplitude so your amplitude it may be a voltage or it may be a current or it may be a power anything right so now let us have a look over a frequency domain representation so always keep in mind when we say that a frequency domain representation on x axis the term always a frequency is present and on y axis there is a term called as amplitude so when on x axis there is a frequency then such a kind of representation it is known as frequency domain representation of signal right so in time domain representation on x axis there is a time on frequency domain representation on x axis there is a term frequency right now frequency domain representation it is also known as spectrum so whenever you go through the world that is called as a spectrum always keep in mind spectrum means frequency domain representation now our today's lecture it is totally related with the time domain representation and frequency domain representation of fm that is frequency modulated wave so how frequency modulated wave it is represented in time domain and how the frequency modulated wave it is represented in frequency domain right so if we understood this concept let us have a look over the both time domain and frequency domain representation of fm so here you are observing a time domain representation of fm so this is your modulating signal 
which is your information signal or we can also call it as baseband signal now as per the definition of frequency modulation we can say that in frequency modulation the frequency of the carrier gets changed in accordance with change in instantaneous value of amplitude of the modulating signal at that time the phase and your amplitude of the carrier is kept constant so i will repeat the definition in frequency modulation frequency of the carrier gets changed in accordance with change in instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal by keeping phase and amplitude of your carrier constant so here you are observing when there is no change in amplitude there is no any change in frequency of the carrier but as the amplitude goes on increasing in positive direction the frequency also increases at the peak positive amplitude of the modulating signal we are observing maximum frequency now as the modulating amplitude is goes on decreasing the frequency also goes on decreasing of the carrier at peak negative amplitude of your modulating signal frequency here we are observing it is minimum so whatever we have represented it is with respect to the term that is called as time so on x axis there is a time on y axis there is a term amplitude so the amplitude is nothing but represented by ec so on x axis it is time on y axis it is amplitude so this is nothing but your time domain representation of fm in which the frequency of the carrier itself it is changing with respect to the instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal so in last lecture we also discussed about or derived about the equation of your time domain representation of fm so you are observing a mathematical statement for time domain representation of fm so e fm is equal to ec sin into bracket omega ct plus mf sin omega mt bracket complete now efm it is nothing but the mathematical representation in time domain of fm now let us have a look over one by one the term what do we mean by ec then what do we mean by omega c what is mf what is omega m so this ec always indicates peak amplitude of a fm wave so here you are observing this is ec so ec is nothing but peak amplitude of your carrier wave so whatever the amplitude of the carrier it is represented by ec so here one more statement we will add that ec is nothing but peak amplitude of fm wave and it's constant it is not changing because frequency of the carrier it is changing and whatever the peak amplitude of a fm modulated wave and whatever the amplitude of your carrier it is same or it is equal because uh, whatever the signal you are observing here it is a modulated signal so that is the signal uh, which is we are observing after the modulation process so before modulation process we are having a modulating signal but after modulation process we are having a modulated signal so the amplitude of the modulated or the frequency modulated signal and the amplitude of your carrier both are same so it is constant now if we observe the second term 
that is sin so sin itself it is indicate so this sin s i n itself indicates fm wave is a sinusoidal wave so this sin symbol here indicates that whatever the fm wave it is a sinusoidal wave so this fm wave it may be a sine wave or a cosine wave but for a sinusoidal wave we are using this notation that is sin s i n now here omega c is nothing but angular frequency of the carrier and omega m indicates the angular frequency of the modulating signal so we know that the both whatever the change in frequency of the carrier it is the change in angular frequency of the carrier so function of angular frequency of the carrier as well as function of uh, modulating modulating signal frequency that is angular frequency of the modulating signal now we know that once we understood omega c and omega m now t is nothing but your time now one more term that have remained it is nothing but mf so mf it is one many times also pronounced as a beta so mf is equal to delta divided by fm which is nothing but modulation index now this total term omega c of t plus mf sin omega m of t it is nothing but frequency of a sine wave which varies according to the modulating signal amplitude so whatever the changes in frequency we are observing here in this diagram it is nothing but function of whatever the angular uh, frequency of modulating signal as well as angular frequency of the carrier and this frequency varies with respect to the amplitude of instantaneous change in amplitude of your modulating signal so this is all about the uh, mathematical representation of time domain representation of fm now our next motive is to understand the concept of frequency domain representation of fm now as in our earlier discussion we said that in frequency domain representation on x axis there is a term that is called as frequency so in time domain on x axis there is a term time on frequency domain representation on x axis there is a term frequency so here you are observing n number of frequencies now dear students one of the important point we are discussing here is that whenever we observe a frequency domain representation of fm here you are observing the different side bands so uh, we can say that uh, there are infinite side bands so infinite upper side bands infinite lower side bands so whatever the uh, fc term that is nothing but carrier frequency term which is of maximum amplitude it is unique one but here you are observing fc minus fm then fc sorry fc plus fm then fc plus 2 fm fc plus 3 fm fc plus 4 fm and dot 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 so did dot 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 indicates uh, here it extends towards infinity right similarly if we take the case of lower side bands so fc minus fm fc minus 2 fm fc minus 3 fm fc minus 4 fm so dot 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 so it is nothing but the infinite so whatever the bandwidth of fm it is always a infinite so uh, it is not the case for your am so in am we have already seen that there are only two side bands so this is nothing but the frequency domain representation of am so in am there is one asb there is one lsb 
and whatever the carrier frequency fc so here fc plus fm and fc minus fm so only two side bands are present one upper side band and one lower side band but if we take the example of frequency modulation so we say that there are infinite number of side bands we observe in fm so this is the frequency spectrum of am or frequency domain representation of am only two side bands one upper side band one lower side band is present but in frequency modulation and if we plot a frequency domain representation of fm then we say that there is carrier frequency here then fc plus fm fc plus 2 fm then fc plus 3 fm right so so on so it is infinite frequency similarly in opposite side fc minus fm fc minus 2 fm fc minus 3 fm and so on so we can say that if it is extending towards infinity for your lsb also extending towards infinity for esb also and if we say that uh, suppose we want to calculate the bandwidth of fm so for calculating the bandwidth sorry bandwidth of am so while calculating the bandwidth of am we say that it is upper frequency minus lower frequency so suppose usb minus lsb but here there is some unique term present we can calculate the bandwidth but here we are observing the number of sidebands of upper side it is also infinite and the number of sidebands in the lower side it is also infinite so quite obvious the bandwidth becomes infinite so in your frequency domain representation bandwidth is infinite now if we want to represent this particular equation mathematically then it is labeled as efm is equal to ec into bracket j0 mf sin omega ct now j0 mf sin omega ct it is nothing but the term which indicates your carrier now whatever the terms which are coming uh, after that words all these terms represented your side bands so j1 mf sin omega c plus omega m of t minus sin omega c minus omega m of t similarly j2 mf sin omega c plus 2 omega m of t plus sin omega c minus 2 omega m of t plus j3 mf sin omega c plus 3 omega m of t minus sin omega c minus 3 omega m of t plus j4 mf sin omega c plus 4 omega m of t plus sin omega c minus 4 omega m of t plus dot 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 it extends towards infinity now while writing the mathematical equation one care must we have to taken that this ec it is just outside this bracket so it is applicable for all j0 j1 j2 j3 j4 terms so if we multiply ec inside the bracket it becomes j0 ec mf j1 ec mf j2 ec mf j3 ec mf j4 ec mf right so j0 ec mf sin omega ct so i have written this term here which indicates your carrier and whatever the remaining all terms with j1 ec mf and these combinations it indicates the infinite number of sidebands 
which is indicated by J1 MF EC sin omega C plus minus omega M of T and so on. Now dear students always keep in mind uh, there is a little bit confusion in always in students mind regarding the sign. So always keep in mind whenever you are writing equation for J1 MF then sin omega C plus omega M of T minus sign here it is used then sin omega C minus sin omega M. So uh, for this term all these term there is a sign plus only um, omega M 2 omega M 3 omega M 4 omega M it is changing. Similarly omega C minus omega M omega C minus 2 omega M. So if we are writing plus here then minus in this side. Now if we observe that for these two terms this sign gets altered. So if you are writing minus here then it is plus then once again minus once again plus and so on. So we can write here plus J1 MF EC sin omega C plus minus omega M of T. Clear? So this is nothing but your mathematical equation for frequency domain representation of FM and this is the actual diagram for your frequency domain representation of FM. Now there is one table we are going to discuss here. So in this table so five terms we have mentioned but there are infinite term. So the first term it is J1 MF EC sin omega CT. So name of that term it is C means carrier which is having amplitude J0 MF EC and frequency it is FC. Now J1 MF EC into bracket omega C plus omega M of T the name of the term it is U1 that is USB1 that is upper side band 1 and having amplitude J1 MF EC with the frequency FC plus FM. Similarly third term it is J1 MF EC omega C minus omega M of T name of the term it is L1 that is LSB1 lower side band 1 and having a amplitude J1 MF EC and frequency FC minus FM. Similarly fourth term it is J2 MF EC omega C plus twice omega M of T. Now if you are writing here omega now for the second upper side band it is 2 omega. For the third upper side band it is 3 omega M. For fourth one it is 4 omega M. Right. So it is your 2 omega M of T name it is upper side band 2 which is having amplitude J2 MF EC and frequency FC plus 2 FM. Similarly, for the fifth term, it is J2 MF EC omega C minus 2 omega M of T name L2 that is lower side band 2 having amplitude J2 MF EC and frequency FC minus 2 FM and this table will continue up to the last term. So if I will write a sixth term, then the sixth term may be J3 MF EC. So it is common one. Now for the sixth term, if I am writing here 2, then it becomes omega C plus 3 omega M of T. Now it is U3 that is upper side band 3 having amplitude J3 MF EC and frequency FC plus 3 FM. Similarly, if I will write seventh term, then it becomes J3 MF EC omega C. Now it is minus 3 omega M of T. Now it is L3 amplitude it is J3 MF EC and frequency now it is FC minus 3 FM. So, so on 
up to the infinite you can write this statement so by this way we can say that the mathematical representation of frequency domain uh, representation of your frequency modulated wave uh, we have observed here now dear students uh, all this concept it is derived with the help of some basal functions so whatever the equations we have written here uh, that comes through the basal function so if the basal functions if we not used here then it is quite impossible task to represent this frequency domain representation uh, of your frequency modulated wave now one more term we will discuss here that is nothing but the total power transmitted in fm signal so i will just give you the introduction about total power transmitted in fm so it is pt equal to ec divided by root 2 bracket square whole divided by r so it becomes ec square now root 2 square means it is 2 multiplied by r so ec square by twice r and if we take the value of r it is 1 ohm then pt becomes ec square divided by 2 so whatever the total power transmitted in fm it is always ec square by 2 so this is all about the time domain and frequency domain representation of uh, frequency modulated wave so hope all of you understood the concept so we will stop here so thank you thank you very much